Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We are underweight. Uh, I have a bunch of wood because I broke down some uh, cabinets indoors. Ooh, I got to make up some of that birch bark. Uh, we're all good in there. Uh, clothing's actually pretty good. Uh, we have no food aside from that and that. Uh, we got water on the on the fire here. Uh, are you full? I don't want to empty this. I want to make sure I don't empty it, but I do want to fill my lantern. Uh, there we go. That's arrows. 46 arrow shafts. Wow. And there we go. So we have some things I guess we can craft while we're waiting for that water. So we're on day 159. And here's our skills. And we are in the morning. What do we got? 10 until melted. Uh, birch bark first. Uh, let's just make sure we got an hour 49, 35. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do? It's 30 minutes right there. The water will be done and we can get going, I guess. Oh no, I thought it was finished. Oh no. Oh, bad move. Bad, bad move. Well, we're here for a little bit longer. <laughs> Oops. 21 more minutes. All right, let's, uh, let's do that. Still got an hour. Five until boiled. Now it's boiled. You're boiled. And let's get, uh, let's do a rose hip. Grab that. We'll grab that. Drop any of this gear. And we will go back inside. Oh, we do have food. Here, let's not take all of it. Let's get some food cooked. I didn't notice that when I came out. It was a little dark and I totally forgot that I put it there. We'll do that up. Drop everything. What do we got? 45 minutes. Uh... Hey, Mr. Coach, welcome in. How are you doing? Do that. How is this coming? 13 till ready. Do that. All right, we got a little bit of meat. Um, what am I going to do with this meat? I don't really know. For the time being, I'm going to do that. We're going to pick all these up. I, I actually didn't drop one of the deer hides. I didn't realize I had two of them. I didn't notice. Alright, uh, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna drop everything that stinks there. I'm gonna go inside these trailers while that meat's cooking because I, I don't remember if I've actually searched these. Yep. 
Yes, I have. All right, well. Good to know. Where is that, coach? Where do you think that is? I don't know offhand. Maybe you do. 28 minutes. Uh, do that. We got 20 minutes on there. Okay. Hey, Mr. Coach, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Um, well, how much am I going to leave? Oh boy, look at us. All right, well, first thing we do is eat that. You're cooked. I'm going to drop like four of these pieces of meat, but I'm not sure where. And if I was a wee bit smarter. Uh, you know what? It might just be smart just to leave it here. I think if I come in here and I, I need to use it. Oh, damn it. Um, I'll probably use this trailer, so. I'll leave you guys. Let's go. How bad is our weight? 65. Sixty-five. Well, let's, uh... Get rid of these. I can barely walk with this much gear. Alright, I'm gonna pull that out. Yeah, if I was a little bit smarter, I would have went over there and made another T, but uh, it's actually, it's plus two is what it feels like, so it's not that bad. That tower looks like Coastal Highway to you now that you think about it. That could be, yeah, because that one's on a ledge. Could also be Upper Bleak, possibly. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what it looks like, but... Actually, come to think of it, I think all of them are on a ledge. <laughs> are they not? <laughs> I don't know. They might be. Alright, are we going to have a moose today or what? Look at the time and look at our alertness. We got way too much alert. We're practically like fully rested right now and it's like noon. We can't run while we're pulling the sled and we have too much weight that if we weren't using the sled we couldn't run anyway. So we'll just keep pulling the sled. We're gonna go over to Ravine. Grab some birch bark. And I'm not sure. I might just leave the sled right outside uh, the dam. Go park it in there and then just go over to ravine. I'll take a couple pieces of cooked meat, obviously. But, uh... Hmm... I don't know, maybe I might even take the, uh, uh, no, I'm not going. I was thinking maybe I might take the, uh, the curable stuff. 
and put it inside the dam just in case we'd end up not coming back but if I do that I might be inclined to stay in ravine and I don't want to we haven't seen this bridge yet we're almost 200 days in. I mean, I always come the other way, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, if I leave this outside as is, minus a couple pieces of cooked meat, I think I will be more inclined to make sure I get back here. And I make it. I'm gonna just take it as far as I go and uh, leave it there. Alright, that is good enough. I'll take you guys and let's go. Put that away. to ravine we got a birch tree here i wonder if you can get a piece of birch any at any point around here i doubt it but i've never looked all right we should have enough time to check for uh birch bark and then come right back uh, we'll probably end up sleeping in the dam. Let's just run a little bit to get rid of some of this alertness. All right, do we have any birch bark? We have zero, so let's see how many we get. I'm gonna say 12. You wanna make your guess? XM figures 10. Oh, there's four. Five. Sneaky one there. Oh, there's a, wow, there's a lot. There is a good amount. It's probably one or two this way, so we'll just quickly have a peek. We got one anyway. I don't think there's ever any more that way, so let's go back. Oh, hey, we'll take you. need any sticks got lots of sticks I want to check up on the hill that we just walked beside uh, maybe not eh Let's 
looking empty. All right, let's go back and we'll curve around that way. Uh, I'll dip into the cave too. I don't remember if I left anything in there. Maybe a hide, maybe some saplings. Hey, welcome back, coach. We're just looking for birch bark. Are you a doe? Nope. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. All right, what's this? Yeah, there's a rope. And we got some wood. And we got you guys. Well, you're absolutely useless out here. Uh, let's leave one of you. What does it take to repair this? Is it one or is it two guts? Where is it? That's how many it is. I'll leave, I'll leave that. Actually, you know what? You're 0. 0.5. You're 125. I'll leave all of you. Actually. You are three. I'll do that and I'll take one of you because I need that to start a fire. And I haven't checked the container yet, so I have to do that. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I totally forgot that I left my sled out there so I can't look. Ooh, there's a big fat juicy buck. We don't need him though. Is that another one? Nope, that was a doe. Bark count. I don't know yet. I'm not done looking yet. That's why I haven't looked at it yet. I think we're done now, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. Uh, 11. Oh, no. XM wins. That's not the oh, no. The oh, no is that that's an odd number. <laughs> Coach. XM already won. She picked 10. I picked 12. We actually were right in the... Right around it, right? All right let's run. Now, do I check the moose area to see if there's any there? I think I'm not going to. I'll, I'll deal with it. We'll just go. That way we got better time to get through this dam before nightfall. The last thing I want is to get stuck in the dam with like half of my alertness. And an Aurora. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. All right. Do we still have? Uh, that's going to wear off right away too. All right. We can drop uh, the hides and saplings in here. Not there though. Actually, let's move you guys off a little bit to the side. Um, there's the bear. There's 
There's the deer. And we'll throw the guts here. And the saplings, because we really don't need any more arrow shafts. I'll put you guys all right there. Uh, we'll eat and drink. To help our weight a little bit. <laughs> Oh, come on. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think we'll have any issues with the uh, Aurora. Plenty of time. That's a problem though. What is our, we're at 59. We're still at full capacity though. For now. We can't run. Oh, you know what I can do? There's a rope right here. Right there. And I get up here, thank you. Wow, that's a terrible crossing. There's a rope, I could just hang off of that thing and, and kill my alertness, but... It's still too early to want to do that anyway. No, I don't believe you can take that rope off. Barely walk with this much gear. It's a, uh, it's a real short rope. Otherwise, if you ever needed a rope, that would be the one to take. I want to see something. Okay, I didn't think so. I may as well double check you. Thought, you know, if you could get up there, that would be kind of cool. I don't know why it would be cool, because it's not like you would need to. Very rare that the wolf ever comes up here. sleeping in the cave or are we are we gonna push forward well, well I guess we'll see what our condition or our alertness is at determine what we're gonna do um, one like the thing I don't want to do I don't want to have a bunch of condition and just have to sit there and, or alertness uh, why am I mixing those up I don't want to have a bunch of alertness and have to just pass time Yeah, we got to see if that... Hey, look at what that is, coach. We got to see if the wolf is even out here. I don't hear him. I haven't heard him yet. Put that away. It's looking pretty safe. There you go, coach. Hmm. Be aware, if you fall from that ledge, you will bounce right around there. <laughs> I 
It's possible, yeah. Maybe he OD'd on the rabbits. We're not seeing the rabbits either. Oh, there's some bunnies up ahead. There you go. Get the good view. I'm not sure. Um, I don't really like going to Signal Hill. So I think if we don't sleep in the cave, I mean, Signal Hill, the problem with that is there's wolves in the area and there's a bear that goes right to the tower. And there's a good chance that it would be a night bear at that point. I might just go right to the farmhouse. I mean, there can be a bear there. A green bear would be fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there could be a bear at the farmhouse too, but look at this weather, it's plus four. How come we can't have weather like this in Pleasant Valley? Is that too much to ask for? Clear skies. We might get an Aurora. Aurora. We might get pretty lights in the sky. Just looking at that, that's interesting, that tree. person who named Pleasant Valley is still laughing about it. Yeah, no kidding, eh? Sundered Pass is laughing at Pleasant Valley, though. Mind your head, Astrid. I cannot stop yawning. Apparently, I'm very tired. Apparently. I just yawned six times in the last minute <laughs> since we got into this area. Maybe I'm not tired. Maybe I'm just bored. Maybe it's the area. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I think I'm tired. The worst kind of yawns, too. The ones that make your eyes wet. XM wants coffee time. Alright. There you go. Thanks, XM. Unfortunately, it won't help. Because it's decaf. <laughs> he drilled on his PJs. Come on. We discussed this already. I've streamed naked. 
pieces of coal. I don't know if you want to do a coal count in here or not, but an ugly visual. Why? How do you know? How do you know I'm not sexy? <laughs> Coach is saying eight. Wow, that's a lot. We haven't found any yet. I think my guess will be three just because I mean I'm not I'm not scouring the place I'm gonna tell my mom on you coach Let's, let's change our guesses now to zero. <laughs> XM picked four. Well, you know, you might be right, because a lot of times there's three in that cave, that little nook. You might be closer to the correct answer than coach minus my number. If we find five, technically that means me and coach win. Oh, we're not gonna get any. Oh, well, we don't need it. And we are gonna find a, 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 a whole bunch when we go to Coastal Highway. That's coming. Yeah, zero, and we haven't we haven't gone through this cave for a while, have we? Been a long time. I mean, when you think that we spent, uh, well, we spent over 20 days, 25 days in Sundered Pass. And then another couple of days in Broken Railroad, this coal should have res respawned completely. Now that I think of it, eight's probably not a bad guess. But based on what we actually found, all of our guesses were bad. No call for you. I can barely walk with this much gear. Yeah, we're going to go right to the farmhouse. Unless we get, uh, hey, Mr. Mrs. Deer. Uh, unless we get, uh, cut off by a bear, I think we're going to go right to the farmhouse. Via Pensive Pond. Uh, sh shocking alert here. I don't remember which moose we have out here. I don't even remember if I ever knew which moose we had out here. Maybe take the flare pistol out. It's probably a good idea. I don't like carrying weapons in... Whoops. I, I will, though. I will. Hey, Murd, welcome in. How you doing? You're making dinner, but you can hear me. Uh, 
All right. You're sore, your back is being mean. I'm good. Sounds like you're getting better though. I might be completely wrong. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I, I can't walk with a weapon out. I know it's a smart thing to do, especially since in a panic situation. Hey. Hey. You can't force me. Look at the pretty waterfalls. Yeah, I know it's a smart thing to do. Why? Why? Why am I going sideways? I am pushing the forward arrow is all I'm pushing. And the wind is blowing the other direction. So it's not like we can't pretend that, oh, the, the wind is blowing me. Why the hell is this going that way? It's angling me. Is it just me? Now it feels like we're going straight, but on that bridge, when I had lines to follow, it had us going this way. That's how we get lost in blizzards. We're not actually walking straight. I figured out Hinterland's secret. <laughs> Has anybody calibrated this game to make sure we're actually going straight? I am almost positive. I don't even remember how many times. I'm sure, I'm sure we've been here for a while. 25 days in Pleasant Valley. Yeah, I'm not even going to go that way. Look at the temperature though. It's plus two. All right, I don't see moose markings in this area. And we never saw one in Birch Forest. Where, oh where, is the moose? Would you say a moose here is rare? You have the other pond. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Murd remembers everything. I, you know what? I, I, in, in the past, I wouldn't say that this would have been a rare moose because this is the one I usually got, but now I, I don't know. We kind of think that the moose are broken. Oh, what's our, what's our, what's our, do we have? Okay. No, we don't. All right. We don't need any of these. Um, it might be that moose spawns in custom are broken. Because apparently sometimes it's just custom difficulty that things are broken. Uh, I believe it was fish that they did a, a bug fix a while back. 
where fish and custom modes weren't showing up. Your back has been about the same for the last month. Some days are a little better, most aren't. That's, well, I'll tell you, when I hurt my back over 20 years ago, I, I think I told the story. I went back to the doctor a, a year later because the pain was coming back. And he explained to me, he said, number one, he's like, you, this is not an injury now. He said, it's just back pain. You are not putting yourself at risk of, of injuring it either. And he said, you will have this for the rest of your life. It will come and go. And I can tell you, some days it has me hunched over. It's just so, so painful. Most days, like today, it's sore. But it's it's where it usually is, and I'm just used to it being that way. So that's a possible unfortunate future for you. The days of uh, of having that good solid back are gone. Hate to be so so blunt on that. <laughs> But hey, we're we're twins, so why shouldn't we have bad backs? <laughs> the thing for you though, cuz I think it builds up over time. Because you just hurt yours, like, I hurt mine over 20 years ago, and, I, and I'm at a point now where it's, where it's a constant thing, right? And I just deal with it every day, and I get some of those days where it's really bad. But you, I, I did have several years where, it, you know, it could be like six months without pain of any kind so it's not like your body is ruined right now by the time yours is ruined you're gonna be so old and hunched over anyways nobody will actually know <laughs> That was meant to make you feel better. <laughs> I don't know if it did. <laughs> you see why I call myself an idiot? Did I say old? Yes, I, I said old. We're all old. Older than we used to be. I guess is better than elderly. Yeah, I don't like the word elderly. Number one, because I can't say it properly. <laughs> it's almost as bad as Aurora for me. Elderly. Elderly. Yeah. But yeah, elderly just... It... it uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's a good word. Nifos, hey garage. Garage. Or I could say it the way my wife says, garage. I always correct her, it's not a garage, you're in Canada. Both wrong. Is it, what is it, a garage? A garage? Garage? <laughs> it's not a garage. A garage. Kind of like a mirage with a G minus an M. How can garage be wrong? I mean, I just 
tell her it's wrong, but I mean, they created the language. I would think that technically that would be the correct pronunciation. Guys, we have three bars of scent. I didn't even pay attention to that. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that, coach. It's just garage. Garage. I will stick to garage. Or sometimes when when words are escaping my brain, I'm like in there. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Every time I every time I was checking, I was I was when I do this, I was checking up over to 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 see what time of day it was. And yeah, I mean, I, I have all those guts. That raw meat. This might be sketchy. No wonder coach told me that I should probably be walking with this thing out. <laughs> Mur, that word is way too close to something else. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Because coach will give me a huh? I mean, the fact that the first four words <laughs> are the first four letters are a naughty word. Nope, I'm passing on that one. I don't pass very often, but I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs> And now what would that word mean? I'm gonna need to rest soon. Which means biology corresponding in function but not evolved from corresponding organs as the as the wings of a bee. What the hell? If you exclude that ending, I would have said with the rest of that description, see? Natolia but then they add the, the wings of a bee. Yeah, speaking of that word, there's there's a nice moon up in the, in the sky. <laughs> if anybody watching wants to know what the word of the day is, we're doing it in reverse today. You got the meaning. Figure out the word. Biology corresponding in function, but not evolved from corresponding organs. Every once in a while that I read something like that, I just get Ron White in my head talking about his mom. I don't know what that means. I got a good move, Knifeo from Coach. A friendly pat on the. Oh, you're over there. I couldn't see him for a while. Safety, he's right there. I don't want to fire a flare. I think I'm going to have to.
Wow, uh, shocking. Pulling up at nighttime with three bars of scent and we had wolves. Alright, let's uh let's do this so I can see. Oh everything uh yeah, everything I'm just gonna bring it inside. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. The murder wants a stretch. I just had half an hour of walking, and you want to stretch when I finally get in somewhere to do something? Oh, actually, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Do I have... I have... Yeah, I have some water. I have sticks. I have books. Three types of books that I really don't care about. It's five. What is that? I mean, does it matter the condition? It looks like the farmhouse might be, you know what? I don't, I'm taking it all. This is not a base. This is not my base. I don't need to have all of my good stuff here. You can stay there. Those are all red. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And oh, I need to. Wow, that's downstairs. I got to do it this way. Let's do that. do that. All right, here we go. Come on, little There we go. 127. Huh, those are only 38 minutes. Pathetic and late. Go downstairs. Take it back, coach. I'm not I'm not afraid to break these down. I'll do it. We could use some leather. Let's pick all those up. And Oh, I guess it was just the meat. <laughs> uh, I don't have the guts and the hides. It's just the meat. Okay, well, now I can do this here. Get over here. I wanted to, to spread these out so I could see them better, but I mean, let's do that. All right, that fire is way too long, so I'm gonna have to, uh... Oh, man. Let's do that. And... Where are you? Right there. I might grab a torch and we'll go upstairs. Alright, that is all. Yeah, it is. Okay. Right, and these are all 38, basically. Oh, I'm not grabbing a torch. That's only at 40. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Now I understand why. Uh. You know what I don't need? Since you're basically my base. No, I'm taking those. I don't know why. 
Uh, I'm curious, what's in here? We got a handful of feathers. Hey, our sewing kit is at 13. You know what? There you go, Murd. You got your 13%. Alright. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, I know there's a sleeping bag next to the stove, but we just had a long walk. I want to sleep in a bed. This is a special bed, too. You don't know that, but this bed doesn't get messy. Ever. Alright, let's do that. That's actually pretty good time, I would say. This is why I had all of that coffee and tea on the floor, because that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Look at it all. There's a lot. But I don't care. This is not my base. I don't have a base, but if I did have a base, it wouldn't be this one. It would be whoa, the trapper's cabin. You're all cooked. We could actually probably. I'm going to save this. I'm going to throw you right there. I don't know if I'll ever see you there, but we got 128. Should be enough, but we'll take that. Drop any of this gear. Hey, those is, and you're all cooked. All right. Uh, let's take a couple. Yeah. What's our weight at? Forty-five. Why? Why? Why are we so heavy? Um. Okay. The jerry can. Oh, because I have this stupid skillet. Dang it. And then it would be... Hmm. Well, we don't need you right now. And uh, we're wearing everything, right? Yes, we are. Uh, that's all pretty good. Here, let's, uh, craft this up. All right, and what's our actual weight now? 42, basically. Is that the guy I took out with the uh, flare shell? Right, we got one bar of scent. Let's go. We might have to take out some wolves. I, you know what? I don't know. I mean, it looked more like a base with all the coffee and the tea, but that it's it's an outpost. Um, it has the stuff from this region and it just looks like there's a lot of stuff there. But the coffee and tea, like, wow. What do we have? Nine, 19, 39, 49. 67. Well, we have a lot. 
I'm not counting that. <laughs> I'm not counting the coffee. Darth, you out there? Where are you, Darth? That's for you, bud. So where am I going to cart those coffee and teas to? That's what Murd would like to know. Well, wherever we go, they go. I think. I got three wolves out here. Hey, remember when I was in Sundered Pass and I was down to one cup of tea? And you, you laughed and you said, hey, remember when you thought you had enough? Well, now I got enough. Because he can't see me, do, like, is that a mechanic in the game? Oh, you saw me. Spread the coffee and teas out all over the place so you don't need to carry that many, but sure, whatever works for you. I know, I, I, you know what? I don't even remember when I left them there and what the plan for that period was. I'm not sure if it was to leave it all there. I mean, I obviously don't need 600, especially for what I use. Right? Like, what does that even weigh? I don't even know how to add that up. I actually do know. Oh, I can't add it up. Here, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm curious. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, and don't worry, I will not throw the ruined ones. At least I hope I won't. <laughs> Alright, so that's 0.72. It's about a kilogram. Oh. Let's uh, switch that over. We have about a kilogram worth of coffee. I wonder if this bear is up. The lonely doe. Uh, we should run inside there and go warm up. We got some time to kill. Or some, some alertness to kill, I guess.
And we have basically nothing in here. Okay. All right. Let's go. All right, what is our, uh, we have one piece of birch bark. What do you guys figure? What do you, what do you uh, guys and gals, what do y'all figure? Coach says 18. Merch should probably say it to 13 then, right? <laughs> he did 13. I'm going to say 22. Ah, screw it. I'm going to say th I'm I'm picking my number. I'll leave I'll leave all the numbers open for you. I'll pick 29. I don't think I'll find that many though. What search patterns do y'all use when you go through here? Like, do you just kind of walk around aimlessly like this? Trying to listen for a bear. way I guess is he sleeping nope. <laughs> will knife will do the insane thing with the bear here again <laughs> eight ball says outlook good <laughs> Nifo says outlook bad. Cause I don't think I'm gonna do that again. Not during a stream. I mean, I might do it in my own run. Like if I was ever playing just off stream, which I don't do anymore, but I don't know. Maybe if I was dared. That's not the first time I fought a bear in a cave. I did have that. I have that clip of the sleeping bear that I, I snuck around and then he woke up and I was able to drop him in his cave. some over here oh there's even more you're odd with how you search this place you go to the center and spiral out because spirals <laughs> Yeah, this is, I guess this is my search pattern, right? And a walk around scanning left to right. Sometimes crossing over where I've already walked.
There's one over there. It's a nice day. What is it? Like minus four. What it feels like. This is a good day. And I have not been counting, so I don't have a clue. I think if I miss the odd one, it's not a, you know, world's not going to come to a screech and halt, but I am trying to find as many as I can. If I end up with an odd number, then I will kind of come out and do one more little search. Trying to get rid of that odd number. something was it you I heard little deer Let's go to the pond. We got 21, so we found 20. Ouch. <laughs> I didn't see, did XM guess the number? I can't remember. I know coach said 18. Merge said 13. I said 29. How to replicate a NIFO search pattern. Smoke a doobie, walk around it a little, and smoke another one. But. But. No moose. Does that count as moose markings, this tree? I think that is, yeah. Definitely. It just looked a little bit different from what they normally look like. I don't know why. Maybe it was because I was looking at it from so far away. All right, well, now to go through the forest and see and cross our fingers if I can just stumble across one piece. Yeah, this is, uh, we've, we've only taken down two, right? Yeah. We've taken down two moose. Have I passed up on any? Like how many have we actually seen? up on this moose because of events and then blizzard do you think I've only actually seen three moose in this entire run 
with moose turned up to maximum. Come on, I must have missed at least one. Gotta be one straggler out here. Where'd you go? That's a stick over there. That's another stick. Well, looks like we got 21. You've killed 12 moose. You are 400 days, close to 400 days in your run. Is that a deer? Uh, I've seen three moose in 160 days. Uh, I should go warm up, eh? What's the time of day? Back to the barn. taken out three bears in this region already but yeah no bear have they broke the game but one thing is for sure this is not as bad as red dead online was a while back when I mean at least I could see a deer out here I went a long time without seeing an animal <laughs> in Red Dead do that let's go this sounded like something was outside Is it just a deer What's the time of day? All right. Well, here's the thing. Uh, food wise, we have two kilograms. We have that. Why don't we just go to Coastal Highway? I know I don't have a lot of food, but we can stop off in Thompson's, see if there's anything in there. You have hunted them patiently, like gone 10 days in a row to a moose spawn. You also altered the animal decay rate. They have no decay rate, so animals respawn way faster. They respawn faster if you have no decay rate, but don't they respawn after a certain amount of time after they've decayed? I think in the next run, I'm just going to leave moose where they're at. Because I think we saw more when we didn't touch that. It could just be that on custom games, that slider is broken.
The longer you play on interloper mode, the further apart they spawn. You're in a bad spot, little wolf. It's just like doesn't even see us. Oh, and <laughs> just like me, not almost seeing you. Well, we don't shy away. I mean, we are kind of on our way to leave. How about let's just leave them alone? I don't want to break more arrows. Let's just leave them. His stupidity of walking right by me like that was kind of cute though. <laughs> Maybe there's an MRE or something inside uh, community hall. What's our flare pistol anyway? It's at 80. Let's swap them out. I'll take those and I'll take that. And is there anything in here? Feathers. So is this a base or an outpost? This is, well, they're both kind of outposts, I guess. Those are all red. 27. I don't need two pairs of spare boots. We don't ever break our boots or ruin our boots. Oh, how much cloth? I have 11. I don't need any. Those are, yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, let's eat. Eat you up. Is a kind of outpost sort of like an outpost? Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't really have a place like I used to, right? Where I used to always, you know, I would go out to different places and I'd always come back to the camp office. I don't really have a place like that anymore like I don't I don't collect stuff and say all right I have to go there and then and then we can go off and go there so I, I am much more on the move than I used to be I think or or less less tied down to one one spot why is your hood down
Now if likes to move it, move it. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're all basically outposts. Why did that happen? I had him right where I wanted him. Now he's over top of the hill and I can't see him. If I get jumped. Changed it in the notes to kind of outpost. I was trying in this run, I was trying to choose locations I didn't typically choose within reason, right? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever choose three strikes as, as my, my base or outpost in this region because it's way too far out of the way. Hey, Triplewood, welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, but what I've noticed, I mean, I mean, just with Mystery Lake itself, uh, the trapper's cabin is too far out of the way. I don't like it. Uh, Mountain Town, that, that, uh, Barker farm too far out of the way So Basically everywhere that I used to use regularly is is basically like the better places to be You see, when we're in Mystery Lake, I always make a stop off at the camp office anyways. Because you got to warm up. But then after you warm up, then you got to go for another hoof. But yeah, it was kind of interesting. I think I think in Coastal Highway, I'm still using the Quonset. I'm not giving up to Quonset. No chance. I cannot give up that floor. Perfectly gridded out floor. The Quonset's the place to be in Coastal Highway, yeah. I agree. It's, it's, I've said before, I think it's literally the best base building in the game. Hey, will this look nice? We'll see. Try that. Now, the dam has a lot of space as well, right? But it's just, it's kind of a pain. Uh, we're at 10. Oh no, I'm saying 46. Oh no, we're gonna be so heavy, I think. Merge picking 42. I think 48 was the highest I ever found. But 46 is the highest I found multiple times. And 
I think I'm already not gonna find I have to go that way though XM's picking 40 coach is picking 38 and we had 10 to begin with oh interesting why was I in here oh did I I, I came in here just to pick up coal didn't I that one time because we haven't been to coastal highway Sleep at the end of this cave. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Take you. We don't leave stuff. Typically. I missed one. Well, you know the rule. It's not how many there actually is, it's how many I actually find. Maybe can use this. We have fire starting five, don't we? Yeah, we do. Now we can drop it. Great. The last thing you want to do when you're finding all this coal is find a big chunk of fur. I think you're wrong. I don't think I actually missed one. I think you saw one of these types of rocks like that that aren't coal and you're thinking that was coal. That's what I think. I don't know that though, but I think that. I'm telling myself that. Stacked coal. Damn it. Okay, I will be more safe whilst picking up the coal. Because that might not even just be one miss, that might be two or three. Didn't, didn't we find like a stack of four or five before? We found stacks of three in the past. I thought they fixed that. <laughs> Two against one. <laughs> All y'all are ganging up on me. Well, this stuff will come in handy.
<laughs> they fixed the stacked coal like they fixed the bear in Forlorn. Yeah, fixing doesn't seem to be uh, something they're very good at. They're struggling on that. Oh, we got a lot though. What's the time? It is almost basically night time. Just uh, sleeping at the exit. Are you all excited? We're about to find out how much coal we found. says 32 we shall see all right let's put our bedroll down Put that away, and here it is. Now, remember, we had 10 already. We found 45. I said 46. Am I allowed to go back and get that one? <laughs> uh, what was... Eat you up. And I guess we'll drink up. And I'm gonna do this because it'll be lighter. And how much birch bark do we have now? We have 18. Is that enough to make Murd happy? Our bow is at 92. I really don't need these flares. Oh, hey. Can I make some fish and tackle? It's bedtime now. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going out there. Uh, yeah, let's just drink and go to bed. Twenty-nine prepared birch bark is what you aim to have when you're going anywhere, but that'll do. <laughs> All right, I have to fix the antenna and desolation point, anyways. All right. I wonder if I should have grabbed that scrap metal that I saw. I'm sure we'll end up with a bunch, anyways. Although. I don't have uh, <clears throat> I don't have a hacksaw. I gave up on carrying a hacksaw. Looks 
like I gave up on carrying water. Okay, I do have one pot. I'm trying to think, what did I leave behind? I left a pot and a skillet. I don't remember what I left at the. It's getting kind of heavy. <laughs> Worst fisherman in the history of the long dark, and he makes more fishing tackle. Hey, it's supposed to be better. They specifically said that they fixed a bug where fish weren't appearing for people in custom runs. And did we increase our fish in this or was it rabbits? We increased rabbits thinking because there is no fish slider. We increased rabbits thinking that that might be tied to the fish. I remember correctly. I can't remember anything anymore. Do I want to go this way or this way? I actually would rather... Nah, let's go this way because you know what? I'll remember at some point that tower. I'll even... Well, maybe I won't remember, but I'll actually... Uh, question. I'll, I'll likely never say, Hey, did I go to that one trailer? Yeah. On the hill? What did I leave behind, says the man who can't remember. Hey, I, I know I left the jerry can as well, right? Yeah, I left the jerry can. There it is. Rabbits were increased. Moose was increased. And there is no fish setting, so we were hoping that rabbits and fish were tied together, which it's kind of a strange thing but you never know Jesus, the real cold. question is why did fish get taken out and why have ptarmigan not been added in any of this gear. I think we can all just assume ptarmigan hasn't been added into the sliders because of the down But that is just an assumption. We'll take that. All right, uh, let's warm up a bit. Fix her underwear. There we go. Merd gets a lot of fish, so one of the settings must increase fish. You know what? I want to go this way. We're, we we got to go to the Quonset first anyways. Let's go to the tower. And we'll just wind our way down there. That way we can knock the tower off of our, uh, or I, I call it the tower. It is a tower. It's a lookout tower. But we can knock that off of our list of places we have to go. Yeah, what all did you increase in yours? If you're getting a lot of fish. I mean, we haven't fished in ours yet, so maybe... Maybe we'll get a lot of fish this time.
Thought I heard something. It's a smart play right there when you think you hear something, but you don't pull out a weapon. <laughs> Why would I? Oh, you have all animals increased to maximum, except for wolves. Those are at interloper settings. And timber wolves are off. Same for coach. Can I ask why? What is the reason behind that? I'm just curious. Like to kill, 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 get all those that got all those animals to hunt, hunt, hunt. Coach plays for fun and less pain. Well, if you like lots of animals, you should play Red Dead because there's tons. I lost $500 in my Red Dead game yesterday when I was trying to mod it. The mods in that... Some mods have to be installed manually. And some you can use Vortex, which I prefer. Because then I can just click a button. And, and, and it does it properly itself. And... Yeah, I did the banking one so you can put your money in a bank. And so I had $700 because I just started playing. And $700, I put it all in there. I had a moonshine uh, add-on mod, I guess it was. So I could do the moonshiner roll in story mode. But whenever I chose my location for the, for the shack, the shine shack, uh, my game would crash. So after about seven different times of this, I decided, okay, go take your money out. Because if it crashes again, you're just going to uninstall all the mods. And I doubt they'll just hand you your money back, right? So I took all my money out of the bank, played, and then the game crashed. And I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to play regular red dead and so i exited and i deleted all the mods and i fired up the game again i only had two hundred dollars the problem i forgot to save this will come in handy field dressing we've already done this And the game, I tried to reload the mod, thinking, ooh, if there's a bank in the game again, maybe it'll give me my money back. Nope, that didn't happen. It's gone. Early game, losing $500 in that game. That's, that's a lot of money to lose early. Uh, there's nothing in here. Well, there's this. Uh, but we don't have a Vista or a Polaroid anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I checked over here. Okay, let's go. Um, I should probably stay in there and warm up. If I'm being honest. Murd has stalker loot tables, which I have. Interloper weather, which I have. 
Max Aurora's. Scurvy is on. Cabin fever's off. My cabin fever is off because of a perk I use. But it's technically turned on. You think that tower's the picture I showed you? Or the the one on the calendar? It might be. Yeah, I really should have stayed there and warmed up. You know what I should do, though? Well, I guess I'm not going to be finding any anything to eat in that category. Let's do that. And we're out of water now. So is your container settings the same as, as the interloper as well? Like the loose item availability and empty containers and all that? No full stalker loot. Oh. You like finding things. <laughs> So do I, but I'm, I'm too much of a hoarder that if I found things at, at the stalker level, we would never be able to move. Where did that wolf go? He just went over the hump. Ooh. Maybe he's going to come back and I can catch him off guard. I feel hidden. gonna come back there he is I kind of don't want him to see me though I want him to come back this way uh, you would stop right there oh, there goes one arrow <laughs> I'll actually find that arrow. I, I kind of wanted a tree as a backdrop. Oh boy. Well, maybe we'll find it when we go around. <laughs> I want, yeah, when I was, I wanted him to, to line up so that I could shoot with the tree as a backdrop so I could, at least if I was over sh shooting, it would just go into the tree, but. Who knows where that arrow might even be at this point? I think if we found that arrow, we would just like quit playing forever. Like we beat the game. It tried to defeat us. It didn't work. Thing is, I don't know how long, how, like, how far does an arrow fly?
Oh well. I think it's safe to say we have officially lost the arrow. But we officially now have 29 arrows when we pull out the bow. What's the time of day? It's almost midday. We're freezing. Let's go this way. I mean, we're supposed to be heading towards the the Quonset anyways, right? Let's go this way. Keep your eyes peeled. The other thing too is who knows it. I mean, it may have landed in a different tree. Should probably, I mean, I think I have enough coal to last a little bit. We should probably make fire. What I want is a stick, though. I don't want to use the, uh, oh, hey, there's a trailer. We'll just go in the trailer and warm up. Jump in here. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. Ooh. Not for peach pie. Dumbest. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Food in the game. Actually, that's not true. I don't need you. And we're at ten. What should I? Should I even break down? Twenty-two. That's like forty-five by hand. We'll do that. And where's that soda? It's actually a good one, 85. Uh, we'll eat you. And let's go. That soda was actually a good find because remember we're out of water. Go this way. Cutting cross country. Kinda. Get down here before Astrid breaks her ankle. I just hear a deer. Not sure. I'm not sure that I've ever actually come down that hill. But shocker, no moose. Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. scared me <laughs> I wish visor notes could be random as well you know that I don't like that we're that we know like okay well this car is not gonna have it I wish uh 
Advisor notes could be in any of the cars. Actually make you actually actually look, you know? It's a bullet. What kind of town is this? They leave bullets on the dashboard. Uh, I kind of broke my rule. I opened the mailbox at that house without actually searching the house. I think I'll remember that I didn't search it. All right, let's go around here. Uh, we're going to drop, obviously, a, a whole bunch of coal. But got a bunch of cars to go through out here. Take that. Right now we need any food that we can find. Water as well. Uh, let's get this car. Nothing in there. And the truck. Not finding anything early. Get in. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Cooking oil, we got a can. Ah, soda. in the soda. Hey, look at you. Take it. There's one piece of scrap metal. Four more to go. I think you're empty. as well 0.75 that's all right I forget which toilet I was told to look behind is it the Pleasant Valley farmhouse that had something behind the toilet I can't remember or was it just toilets in general our best toolkit. Hey, it's red. <laughs> oh, hey. We need you. But not right now. You can go there. You can go there. Pick that up. 
Bro, are you right there? Extra hatchet for some wood. This desk have nothing. Ah, look what I found. Y'all don't like them, but I like them. Uh, what can I drop? Here, let's put that out for a bit. Um, do that. Drop those there. And uh, we'll drop the coffee here. A lot of coffee. Go over here. You're heavy. You can go there. You can go there. And throw y'all right here. I didn't have any salt, did I? No. Um, I don't need these cans on me, though. They are not really ingredients. Not in my world, anyway. I missed a piece of cloth under the workbench. Oh, I did. Thank you. All right, here's where we have 400 different drawers to open up. Barb's rifle is not in here. Oops. Oh boy, what is that under there? That's a book. This stuff will come in handy. But they're shooting, you can go there. more cabinets got a toque Two pieces, three more to go. 
All right, let's put this away. Save our fuel. All right, that is it for all of these. Okay, one thing I got to do. Um, oh, that paper's got to go somewhere else. But so does this coal. Where can I put the coal? I don't have a coal spot in here. You know that? I'm just going to do that. Ooh, that's a pretty little circle. Not no more. All right. Uh, you go in there. You guys can all go in there. Do that. Do that. Uh, cans can go on the stove. I'm going to throw you guys in there and arrow shafts go in there. I have nine hooks. I must have made hooks at some point, right? And just totally forgot that I made hooks. All right. Uh, yeah, everything else got to go kind of on the floor. You can go there. Let me up. You can go right there. And all right, I wanted to drop those somewhere where like right there, I think looks good. Uh, we don't need you, don't need you for now. We'll throw them up there. And drop you. And for the time being, we'll drop that one. I'm not going to break it down just yet. I'll put you in there. You're right there. The time of day is almost nighttime. Where can we go? Is there a jerry can in one of the corners of the garage behind the crate? Uh, there's a fire striker possibly under this one, I believe it is. You know what? Let's check them both. Ah, fire striker. Get your guesses on the quality of the fire striker. Nope, nothing back here. Mert says 89, Triplewood says 76. XM says 95. I'm saying 99. Just because. Oh, did coach leave? I did. I missed that. I missed it. Sorry, coach. Have a great day, bud. Thanks for coming by and thank you so much for the bits. This will come in handy. 41. Well, we found one. <laughs> All right, you can go back on the floor. We are not breaking down any more wood. What's the time of day? Nope. Let's go check out this house. Yeah, let's get this house out of the way. And we got that one. Uh, this is a cute little house, though. 
I like this house. All right. Gots to be quick. There's matches up there. Don't really need them, but definitely take them. Yeah, it's a little, it looks like a little bigger when you get inside. I just like the, the like the, it's a cute shape. I like the color. It might be my favorite house in the game. Even nicer than Grey Mother's. Grey Mother's got a nice big house, but this one's cute. anything nothing there all right let's get upstairs quick nothing there Is there anything in this house This house belonged to a professional prepper. When things went south, they grabbed everything because everything was in bug out bags to begin with. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Oh yay, we found some socks that will do us no good at all. But we will find water, so that's a good thing. Uh, we will drop socks right there. I should probably shut off the lantern. Don't really need it on right now, but... Go. Ooh, 195. Shut that off. You maintain that there are items, but none of them bit Astrid so she leaves them. <laughs> I'm reading and I'm not looking. Uh, can we eat that? Drink the other soda I guess, right? Yeah, we're good. The time it's almost night time. We got time for one more house. Go we'll check this house real quick. All right, I'm going to do a quick look for loose items and then I'm gonna shut off the lantern and we're gonna look kind of in the dark through the containers okay good enough 197 Wow. I'll take it. Oh yeah. Literally the only person playing the long dark that actually gets excited finding tablets. I like them. That's all good. 
check you. I don't think there was anything under the bed. Um, I'm remembering the old days where you used to find rifles under some of the beds. food in here coffee nope well we got one can of dog food all right back to the quonset if we're able to Get past the the railing. Alright, let's go inside. We will go right here. I I mm, I gotta move that. I'll move it after though, but uh one thing I will do. I'll drop those. Um, I want this because I'm going to break it up for its juice. Uh, harvest that. And we'll fill you up. 68, that's actually a lot of fuel. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> that one. Okay, you can go in there. Uh, what else did we find? Uh, those cans still have to go on top. Okay, we don't need to carry you guys. We don't need to carry you guys. And... Did I have extra clothing? No, I didn't. Alright, we're all good. Oh, I have 19 pieces of wood. Oh, you know what I don't need? I don't need that. Where's the bed? There's the bed. What do we got to eat? Oh, we have an ingredient. It's okay. I'll drop those in the morning, I guess. Uh, let's eat you. XM's gotta go. Okay. Thanks for coming by, XM. Have a great day or night. And fill up the bladder and we will end this right here i guess so for those of you on youtube i thank you for watching if you like what you saw please like and subscribe and i will see you all tomorrow